How to upload a hotspot portal to a Microtic router. First, make sure you have the full admin access to your router. Afterwards, you need to remove the old files to ensure that the edited portal will work. To accomplish that, just go to the Files tab and look for the folder where the old portal is saved. Most of the time, the folder name is Hotspot. To remove the folder, just select the folder and click the Remove icon located above. Now that the old folder of the portal has been removed, open the file where the newly edited hotspot portal is saved. To upload the file, simply drag and drop it into the file section of Winbox and wait for the upload to finish. Now that the upload is complete, make sure that all files are present in the folder. If everything is okay, remember the name of the folder for the next step. This is very important and should not be forgotten. The last step is to match the server profile directory with the folder name in the files. Just go to the IP tab, then Hotspot, and in the Hotspot section, just go to Server Profile and select the current profile being used for checking and modification. Just open the profile and check the HTML directory if it matches the folder name in the files of the Hotspot portal. If you see that the name in the directory matches the folder name and its Hotspot, then it's good to go, and you can now test the new hotspot login portal. Please remember also that there are Microtic router models whose default storage type is different and it is named Flash. Like this one I will show you, it is HexGR3. And if we look at its product specification, under storage type, it's Flash. I am now going to create a demo to upload files if the storage is Flash. Let's assume that the default storage here is named Flash. For the tutorial, I will just create a Flash folder and upload it to the Files section. Since there's already a Flash folder, let's upload our Hotspot login folder again. It's still the same so we can upload it by going to the folder where the file is saved and dragging and dropping it to the file section. But for now, drop the file into the Flash folder. If you look in the file section, under the Flash folder, there is a Flash hotspot and this should be in the HTML directory in the server profile. Now, let's open the profile to match the folder file name and directory. Here, we will make it a Flash hotspot. You can either manually type or select the folder name from the drop-down menu. If the directory matches, click Apply and OK to save the changes. These are the steps in uploading the hotspot login portal to a Microtic router. To learn more about Microtic, don't forget to follow and subscribe. Thank you for watching.